Hey guys, in today's video, I have one big question for you. And that is, do you currently own a Facebook business page? And if the answer is yes, then you definitely need to be using chatbot. And I'm going to be getting questions well. What exactly is Facebook Messenger bot and how can I use it to maximize the use of my Facebook page? All of that will be coming up in today's video, so stay tuned. So if you're not familiar with what a mess a Facebook Messenger bot is, it is basically an automated messaging software that uses AI to help you interact with your audience. Chatbots allows you to reach your customers directly and communicate with them via the Facebook messaging app like how you would normally communicate with your friends and family. You have the ability to program the chatbot to ask certain questions and provide a few options to help your customers resolve a problem or get to a certain place or reach a certain goal. Not only can you essentially use it for anything like customer service, you can provide options for the most frequently asked questions like tracking deliveries, booking an appointment, or simply visiting your website. Now with chatbots, you can set up automated interactive conversations with your customers to guide them with the product selection process to make the necessary purchases because most likely your audience is new to your brand and you can remove that barrier through conversations, thereby giving them the confidence to purchase from you. And the software that, that I'm currently using is called ManyChat. They are the leading software for Facebook Messenger chatbots and they're the best on the market. So there are basically three things that I actually use ManyChat for. Number one, setting a product. Number two, lead generation. And number three, customer service. So in today's so in today's video, I'll be showing you a quick tutorial on how you to set this up. So the first step is head over onto ManyChat.tbootcamp.com where you can get started for free. And the next step is to sign in with your Facebook account and they will automatically link up all of your Facebook pages to ManyChat. Now once you have successfully registered for ManyChat, you'll be redirected to the dashboard. And if I scroll down over here, you'll be able to see all of the active subscribers you have on your bot. So over time as you grow, you'll be able to see the line grow up and up and up and it's just how it works. So just install it and you'll see your subscribers grow. Now, another thing is sometimes you may want to see each individual subscriber's tier list. So if you look under audience, you'll be able to see each and every single one. You'll be able to see who has subscribed, who has unsubscribed, things like that. Now, I would say that the most valuable tool inside Medichat is the growth tool. This is the part where you get to send a free organic traffic from your Facebook page to any website that you want. Don't worry, I'll be coming back to growth tools showing you exactly how to use this. Now, another feature inside MetaChat is, is that you can use the live chat. So if anybody ever messages you on your Facebook page, instead of logging in onto Facebook, you can actually chat with them right here on ManyChat because they give you that option right here. Another thing is you can also send broadcasts. So whenever you have built up your subscribers list to say 500 or 1000 people, you can start sending out broadcast messages Say hey, we have a new product. Go ahead and check it out or check out check out our service. Like anything that you would send in an email, you can actually use broadcasting to send to your subscribers list. So similar to an email list that you want to build it to your you know five thousand or ten thousand people on your list, you want to start building your subscribers on your on your chatbot. And another thing is automation. Now this is one of the theme the most important part in terms of customer service because because when you go under automation we can set up things like welcoming message and default reply so i'm going to be showing you exactly how to set that up in today's video so the first thing you want to do once you register for the chat is to set up your welcome message so whenever someone messages you for the very first time on your facebook page they will see this immediate message now keep in mind this all automated any message you'll get they will see this first welcoming message. So I'm going to show you exactly how to set this up. So the first thing I want to do is click new flow. And then you want to give your new flow a name. So I'm going to say welcome message test. 
I'm going to click create. Now this is the part where we get to customize our message. Anyone that messages our page, so you can type it right over here. And then over here, you can see a preview on how it actually looks like when someone messaged you. So for the purpose of this training, I have already typed up a welcoming message. So I'm, going to, I'm just going to paste it right here. So basically what I say is, hey there, would you like to be, would you like to be subscribed to our Facebook Messenger? You will receive notifications for discounts and special promotions. Now notice now I have structured our welcoming message. I want to make an offer for them to subscribe to our messenger because our end goal for using ManyChat for any Facebook page or any business is to build our subscriber list. So we want to definitely want to extend an offer to anyone that messages our page. Now, you also want to offer an incentive for people to want to subscribe to your messenger bot. You know, nobody wakes up in the morning and say, hey, I want, to, I want to be spammed more, you know, through Facebook Messenger. Nobody does that, you know. You know, you want to definitely give some sort of incentive for them to subscribe to your bots. So what I do is I'm going to say, hey, if you subscribe, we'll give you discounts, special promotions, things like that. So that way, people are more inclined to subscribe. So over here, people are going to be asking, well, how do people subscribe via this bot? So with ManyChat, they give you the option to add a button and this is the options that you're going to provide to anyone that is seeing this message so uh so all you have to do is click the add button over here you have multiple different options but in this case for the first button i just want to say yes yes i want to be subscribed and then you pick an action on what you want to have what you want to happen so i'm going to click action and i'm going to scroll down here and say subscribe to bot because this is what we want people to do so they when they click yes they're going to be subscribed to their bot and then i'm going to go ahead and send them a message so i'm going to say in the message in that message right over here i can type in a message if they ever click yes so now so now we're going to set up what we're going to send to that person if they click yes i want to be subscribed so what management will do is that they will automatically automatically subscribe that person to your list but we also want to tell them that we have received their subscription so over here i usually type something like this i'm just going to go ahead and paste it in i'm going to say thank you your subscription is confirmed and then i'm gonna say hey why not enjoy $5 off your first purchase with us? Just use this coupon code at checkout. So immediately what I like to do is offer them a coupon code. So for me, since I own a Shopify store, the way I like to track my leads that are coming from my Facebook Messenger is I can go back to and, and track whoever used this specific coupon code. I know that I know that I did that I generated that sale through Facebook Messenger so I can refocus my marketing efforts towards Facebook Messenger as opposed to emails. That way I can track what's working better versus which one is not working as well. So that's a little cool trick that I usually do is to have a custom coupon code for emails, have a custom code for Facebook Messenger. Or if you're on Instagram or Pinterest have a specific coupon code for each and every for each and every single one of these platforms. That way you can track where your majority of your sales is coming from. So over here, you know you can say your subscription is confirmed. Please visit us. You could also add in a button. And this button says, you know, visit us now. And then you can open up a website so you can enter in your website right here. So what I do is I can come back over to my face to my Shopify store. So this is just my test Shopify store. I'm just going to go ahead and copy my domain again. Again, you do, you do want to have a custom domain, this very generic one. I'm just going to paste that in. I'm going to click done and right over here. The other question is, well, you set up the yes. What if someone says no, I don't want to be subscribed. How do I set that up? So that's very simple. So what we want to do is we want to come back to our welcoming message and we can add a second button. So for the second button, obviously you want to say no. And, and we'll say no, thank you. And then we can select an action. We'll, and the action will just be unsubscribe from bot. 
I just want to click that and I also want to send them a message if they do click no thank you. I'm just going to say we are sad to see you leave. You can still visit us anytime at then your website. Over here you can also add in a button if you want to. So you definitely always want to make an offer for them to visit our website even though they don't want to be subscribed to our list. So that's pretty much it. After you are done, you can go ahead and click publish and it will be live on your account. And that's pretty much it, guys. And I hope you guys learned something new and I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.